Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Science and Nature. Let's get to it. Question 1. Which creature had a short nose horn and two larger horns on the brow? The answer is Triceratops. The Triceratops, known for its distinctive appearance, had a short nose horn and two larger horns on its brow. But here's the fascinating part, these horns were not just for show. Recent studies suggest that they were used in combat between male Triceratops during mating season, making them the prehistoric equivalent of epic dinosaur battles. Question 2. What function does the labyrinth in your ear have? The answer is, it maintains your balance. The labyrinth in your ear, also known as the inner ear, is not just a mysterious and intriguing name. It actually plays a crucial role in maintaining your balance. This intricate system of canals and fluid helps you stay on your feet by detecting changes in head position and movement. So next time you're feeling steady, give a little nod to your amazing inner ear labyrinth. Question 3. What disorder results in compulsive eating and induced vomiting? The answer is bulimia. Bulimia, an eating disorder characterized by compulsive eating followed by induced vomiting, can lead to some surprising consequences. One lesser-known fact is that the excessive vomiting can cause a condition called Russell's sign, where calluses form on the knuckles due to repeated contact with teeth during purging. So next time you notice someone with unusual knuckle marks, they might be hiding more than just a quirky habit. Question 4. What type of creatures are cetaceans? The answer is... Whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Cetaceans, the fascinating creatures of the sea, are not only limited to whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Did you know that they also include lesser known species like orcas and narwhals? With their incredible intelligence and adaptability to aquatic life, cetaceans continue to amaze scientists and captivate our imaginations with their majestic presence in the oceans. Question 5. How many days will it be before a clock? Losing 30 minutes a day shows the right time again. The answer is 24. A clock that loses 30 minutes a day will take 48 days to show the right time again. But here's the twist. During those 48 days, the clock will be correct twice a day for a total of 96 times. So even though it takes almost two months to catch up, it manages to be right more often than you might think. Question 6. Graphite dust is formed when what is cut with a laser? The answer is... Diamond. When a diamond is cut with a laser, it doesn't just produce a shiny gem, it also creates graphite dust. This may seem counterintuitive since diamonds are made of carbon, just like graphite. However, the intense heat from the laser causes the diamond's carbon atoms to rearrange into graphite, leaving behind a trail of fine black dust. So next time you see that sparkling diamond ring, remember that it once had a brush with its humble cousin graphite. Question 7. How many degrees does the Earth rotate each hour? The answer is 15. Did you know that the Earth rotates at a speed of approximately 1,040 miles per hour? That means every hour, our planet completes a full rotation of 360 degrees. So next time you feel like time is flying by, remember that the Earth is spinning away at an impressive rate. Question 8. How many hearts does an octopus have? The 
The answer is three hearts. Did you know that an octopus has not one, not two, but three hearts? That's right. These incredible creatures have a main heart that pumps blood to their organs and two additional hearts that pump blood to their gills. Talk about having a lot of love to give. Question 9. What is a prosthetic? The answer is an artificial body part. Did you know that the world's oldest known prosthetic is over 3,000 years old? Discovered in Egypt, it was a wooden toe attached to a mummy. Talk about ancient innovation. Prosthetics have come a long way since then, with modern advancements allowing for highly functional and lifelike artificial body parts. Question 10. Goldfish possess four color receptors in their visual organs compared to our three, while the mantis shrimp boasts ten color receptors. The answer is... Eyes. Goldfish have four color receptors in their eyes, compared to our three. However, the mantis shrimp takes the crown with an astonishing ten color receptors. These incredible creatures can see a spectrum of colors that is far beyond our human perception. Talk about having a colorful view of the world. Question 11. Which variety of pine tree, alive today, was a sapling during the life of Christ? The answer is the bristlecone pine. The bristlecone pine, known for its incredible longevity, holds the title of being the variety of pine tree that was a sapling during the life of Christ. These ancient trees can live for thousands of years, with some specimens dating back over 5,000 years. Talk about witnessing history firsthand. Question 12. What is considered to be the least nutritious fruit or vegetable? The answer is cucumber. Contrary to its refreshing and hydrating reputation, the cucumber is surprisingly low in nutritional value. With a water content of approximately 96%, it contains minimal vitamins and minerals. However, don't let that discourage you from enjoying this crunchy veggie, it's still a great addition to salads and sandwiches. Question 13. What is the only dog that doesn't have a pink tongue? The answer is... Chow. The Chow is the only dog breed that doesn't have a pink tongue. Instead, their tongues are a unique shade of blue-black, which adds to their distinctive appearance. So, if you ever come across a dog with a dark tongue, you'll know it's most likely a Chow. And with that, we bid adieu to the world of science and nature. Remember, knowledge is like gravity. It keeps us grounded and always reaching for new heights. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Farewell until tomorrow. Have a good one wherever you are. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.